this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Let's head into this hollow gigantic tree. Where are all these hollow gigantic trees in real life, anyway? I've never seen anything like that before. And they got a cave in here, too, apparently. So these guys are blue. No, wait. No, no, they are. Uh, what we want to do here is put my uh, magma bomb element to you. So let's hit them for uh, medium attack there. And then a magma bomb should be able to finish off the two that I was actually able to hit. Or you could just be a blind fool. Never mind. Uh, I thought that would work, but uh, apparently not. Postal's going to have to uh, do all the dirty work. Doing it doggy style. There we go, Postal. Yeah, these guys, uh, nothing too hard about them, except they like to dodge my attacks, apparently. Yeah, Nikki's not going to be too useful in the tree here. Uh, all the enemies here are blue, so... But that's okay. I got the blues! Let's see this one. Uh, there's one more, right there! They just fall right out of the sky! Or from the ceiling, but yeah. Gloops. Let's see what we can do with these guys. The interesting thing about these enemies is that they have a rare drop of a Pultis cap. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the way it works is it's just like the uh, antitoxinal caps I was telling you about on Guile's Path. Uh, the Pultis caps protect you from burns, though, not poison. Um, there's an easier way of getting Pultis caps later in the game, so I wouldn't worry about getting it from these guys. But if you do, so much the better. Uh, protection from poison is much more useful earlier in the game than later in the game, so yeah, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. And by the way, humor are like, well, that's like a bone, you know, like the humor bone in the human body or whatever it is. Uh, it's a b base material for weapons. Okay, I just thought I'd take care of all the enemies here off-screen with all those blobs dropping out of the sky. It's, uh, at least it's not as scary as that one blob in Zelda 2 in the Grand Palace. That one always scares the hell out of me when it just drops out of nowhere, man. Oh, we got another new enemy here. We better stop him. He's letting loose all those monsters into the water. This guy should be relatively easy. Yeah, yeah, we've got Surge going here, so... Of course, it would be even easier if you actually hit the guy, Surge. There you go! I knew you could do it! Oh, well, we almost got him. He's got quite a bit of HP. I heard a rumor that he has a rare item called Getz's Shirt. No, no, it's not true. Uh, pay no attention to that rumor, viewers. Uh, yeah, I might as well use my level 3 tech. Whatever. I haven't taken any damage yet. Did this guy actually attack me? Apparently not today. Okay, well we got him. And you just stand there looking pretty with your guitar there, Nikki. Great job. You can take off all the makeup now. I don't think you need to impress the monsters. Okay, well we need to get that uh, wraith out of the way. So that way we can push this stone into that hole there. That'll affect a small event later in the game. I forget whether you have to do that or not in order to... Like, I think if you don't do it, I think there's still a way to work around it to make the event happen. I forget. And for some reason, the water was slowing us down back there, but not up here. Uh, I don't know. You got me, viewers. And pushing that rock in the way kind of reminded me of Centaur Ruins for some reason. Oh, we got a lot of enemies here. Let's take care of them off screen. Yeah. Okay, I think I've cleared out all the enemies. Let's see, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, we can't get to that chest. Yet. Not until much later in the game. That's okay. Oh, so there we are. I guess it was just like that one guy was telling us, huh? Sure, that sounds like a good idea. You see, unlike the other two paths, this actually makes sense! We're at the bottom of a well! No one could possibly find us down here! You know, Pierre's path, we're standing right outside the front door! Of course someone's gonna see us there! Or on Guile's path, even, you know, we're just, like, sitting right inside the walls! What, no one's gonna drop on by and see us? 
But here, we actually climb up a well. It makes sense. By the way, on the other two paths, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't uh, climb down the well there. They'll say, uh, Serge, don't you want to uh, do stuff while we're here? Let's go into this door here and uh, pick up this treasure. Turn blue element. Like I said earlier, I'm not a fan of the turn color elements. If you like them, let me know, viewers. Whoa. Almost ran right into that soldier there. I could barely see him. Okay, so we've made it to the barn area here. We gotta go here first before we go to the front door. Just in case you uh, didn't watch the other paths here. I brought a dog to feed to your dragons. Uh, no, we're not the dragon feeders. Haha! -ha! Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess he won't report us either way if we help him feed the dragons. Haha! <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what you'd say. That is like the most straightforward thing I think I have ever seen you say, Pulshul. Wow. Th did they just forget to give her an accent for that line? I mean, what happened to her? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna feed the dragons. We have to in order to get inside the manor. We gotta feed uh, them at least 10 times. If you play the other games, you can get more prizes. If you want to uh, see me feed them 100 times, Check out uh, the video I made uh, with Guile in this area here. I'm not going to do that again. So basically what you got to do, use the X button to pick up food on the left here. Then whenever a dragon raises up its head there, you know to feed it with the X button again. You drop it off to them and you just wait around for them to get pissed off enough at you. Kind of like a cat when they're begging for food. Meow. Meow. If I were bigger than you, I'd bite your head off for not feeding me. Well, Kitty, your master is a loser. Oh, okay. And we get a knee pad for winning the first game. You can win some other uh, very good equipment for playing the other games. So I'll try to remember to list that in the video description there. But anyway, it doesn't matter which game you play uh, or which level of game you play here. Uh, if you win, you get the manor key. So now we can go through the front door. So what I want to do is I want to take a moment to uh, get win the other equipment from those games there. And then I'll equip that on everyone, my element set up and everything, and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, if you want to see my equipment and element setups, uh, I've posted it in the video description there. Let's just sneak past this guard, uh, making as loud footsteps as possible so that way they can catch us. Absolutely! We've got a dog here. How are we going to sneak past the guards with a dog? Well, we could just beat up all the guards. I could use a stat boost anyway. Oh, now they see me. Yeah, if you're having trouble with any of the uh, Acacia Dragoons around here, just, um, you know, have Nikki cast Arrow Saucer on them. It's like Aerosmith, except uh, they die. Oh, no, you can also steal, uh, what is it? You can steal, uh, bronze helmets from the Acacia Sergeants. Not the Privates, just the Sergeants. If you had a kid in your party, but I don't. So basically what I did was I, uh, forged a bronze helmet while I was back at, uh, Termina, since I can't steal any while I was here. So let's just break into this place all by ourselves. I'm sure no one will notice. Why aren't we going in? Well, someone's stalking us! What's going on? It's Kid! Well, we broke in here before you did. Oh, so since we didn't invite her, she's just gonna let us do all the dirty work for her. I mean, I'd like to be doing the dirty work with her, but, you know, can't do, do it this time around, apparently. Oh, well, we can't get through to the left there, and we can't get through to the right. What's with that door on the right there? Huh, that's weird. But don't talk to these statues. Uh, bad things will happen. Let's see if there's a way we can open this door. Well, come on, Nikki. Play Stairway to Heaven. That statue uh, polisher said this place was like heaven to him. Doesn't work. Oh, well. Now, you got. in order to progress with the game, you have to uh, turn this statue a few times. It really doesn't matter because nothing will work! Yeah, random combinations won't work. 
Nuts. We got captured in here. That's some trap you guys got. Can we fight them? Oh, they're going to get the commander, huh? Well, what are we going to do now? How can we escape from here without Kid? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Well, come on, fight me. What's the matter? Chicken? McFly? <laughs>